We are in Veritas Backup Exec 16. I'm going to show you how to change or edit a logon account to go to a different user or even edit that user itself. So let's start by editing the user and click on the circle in the upper left hand corner. Click on configuration and settings, logon accounts and manage logon accounts. So here we see some logon accounts that were created in addition to the default logon account which was created during the installation of Backup Exec. So if we wanted to edit this particular logon account, we can highlight it and click Edit. And from here we can go in and say we need to change the password because the password has been updated on the server where we're using it, but it also has to be updated here so the backup will work properly. We can also go down here and choose whether or not this is my default account. And the default account is the one that Backup Exec uses in order to start all the services. So in this particular case, this is just an additional account specifically for a server that the default account doesn't have permissions to. So let's go ahead and click OK and OK again. Now we're going to be in the server itself and we're going to right click and edit the job that, that's being run for this server. And we're going to click on Test Edit Credentials. So let's say we don't want to use the system logon account. We want to use the server for admin account instead because the system logon account doesn't have the username and password that's on this particular server. So it wouldn't be any good. It's good enough to start backup exec, but it's not good enough to actually back up the server because that account isn't there. So once we've gone ahead and selected the server for admin, we, of course, we want to make sure that the password is going to work. And if that does work, then we can go ahead and click OK, and then we can run our job. So now we'll click OK, and we're ready to run our job using the new edited server for admin account.